I think it's psychological. What? Tom's behavior. It's all in his mind. I see. He's a bit lonely here. Well, that's only natural. So he's invented a friend for himself. This girl he talked about. of Harriet Melbourne. She leaves it here to keep a promise she once made to a small boy. Morning, Auntie. Good morning, Tom. Morning, Uncle. Did you have a good night, old man? Yes, wonderful. Your auntie said a letter from your mother. Oh, yes. Peter's over his measles. You can go home tomorrow. Home? Tomorrow? That's good news, eh? No, uh, yes. I mean, I want to stay here. You want to stay here? Well, I said I want to go home too. But tomorrow, it means only one more night. Well, I'm so glad you're happy with it. Only one more night. I know what I'm going to do, Peter. When I go to the garden tonight, I'll stay there forever. Or at least as long as I want to. And when I come back here, it will still be the same time as when I left. I guess that's what it means on the clock. Time no longer. I tell you, I heard someone in the hall. That's all. There's nobody. Oh, that door. Someone's left it open again. How can they be so careless? A note for you. Thank you, Oscar. It's from Barty. Indeed. He may be able to drop by and see me this afternoon. Again? Do you mind him calling so often? Why should I? You're old enough to choose your own friend. Yes, Uncle. I suppose one day you and Barty may... And with Edgar gone too, I shan't need this big house anymore. I shall give it up, I think. It'll seem strange. Whatever happens, I'll see you often. Will you? Well, you've been very kind to me. Kind? Looking after me all these years. I see. Thank you, my dear. now, and you haven't grown at all. I'm not much of a playmate for you anymore. Oh, but you are. You must be. You promised that we'd take a boat and row down the river, as far as we could go. Did I say that? It isn't proper for a young lady to row down the river all alone. You won't be alone. I'll be with you. All right. 
If I promised, we'll do it. Oh, thank you, Hattie. Oh, Abel, if Barty, Mr. Bartholomew calls, will you tell him I've taken a boat down the river? But, Miss Hattie... It's all right. I've got a friend with me. I maybe is your friend after all. Thanks, Abel. Miles and miles. I know. It's been wonderful. I hope your aunt won't be angry when we get back. I don't care if she is. I used to be afraid of her, but not anymore. Oh, Tom, look at the time. I don't think I've got the strength to row all that way upstream. Besides, it'll take so long. It'll be dark before I get home. I wish I could help. Dear Long Tom, I'm afraid you can't. I know. It'll be quicker to walk home. I'll leave the boat here and they can collect it tomorrow. I think there's a road over there. Well, I suppose we better start. going the right way. So do I. There's someone coming. We can ask them. I do believe. Yes, it's Barty. I am glad to see you. Abel told me you've gone down the river. I was getting a bit worried. Get in and I'll drive you home. You don't have to worry about me. But I do worry about you. You know that. Very kind of you. I was beginning to be frightened all on my own. But Hattie, you're not on your own. I'm with you. Well, you're not on your own now. Walk on. Hattie, can't you see me? Can't you hear me anymore? Don't go without me. Stop! 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 Hattie!
it's going dark. Don't let me go. Please, don't let me go. What's happened? I don't understand. Tom, dear, whatever were you doing? She's gone. She couldn't see me anymore. She didn't want me anymore. Good morning, Mrs. Bartholomew. Good morning, Mr. Kipson. Excuse me. Gwen. Coming, Alan. Oh, dear. I've forgotten the pie I made for your mother. Tell your uncle I won't be a moment. You're real. You're a real boy, not a ghost after all. Oh, Tom, do you know who I am? Y you're Mrs. Bartholomew. You own this house. You live on the top floor. But you do remember, happily. Remember? It was only last night. She rode off with Barty in a gig and left me behind. Oh, yes, you disappeared that night and I never saw you again. Perhaps I was too much in love with Barty. We were married the year after that, more than 60 years ago. We used to call him Barty, but of course his real name was Bartholomew. Oh, we were so happy together. And before he died, he bought this house for me, so that we could come back here to live. You do know who I am, don't you? Tom, what are you waiting for? Excuse me, Mrs. Bartholomew. Coming, dear. Long Tom, dear. Hattie! Dear Long Tom. Tom, we're ready to go. Good grief. I I'll come and visit you. I'll bring my brother if I may. I've told him all about you. Oh, please do. Soon. Very soon. I promise. <laughs> Well, uh... Time no longer. <laughs> <laughs> 